What a day this is going to be! Got him! Beautiful fish. That's a big walleye. Awesome, awesome colors on this guy. going on folks tough country back at it again with another video today i'd like to talk about the garmin striker 4 fish finder and what i think about it so right off the bat it's a super inexpensive unit i think i paid like 2.99 canadian i got it on sale but i paid 2.99 canadian and i got a whole kit i got a bag i got a plat it came with a plastic carrying thing inside of it came with a battery came with the uh, garmin unit and a transducer and the boat mount so very inexpensive for a great fish finder now you can get the boat transducer or the ice transducer and I think they have some other transducers. I'm not fully sure what they are but they got like clear view and all this other stuff that you can get as well. I just have the boat transducer and it does the trick for me. I had to create a little bit of a rig so that I, it sits in the hole better and I can read my, my lure better. But once I made that rig it's lights out like I don't need to go buy that uh, ice transducer for an additional $150. I'm good with the deucer that came with it. So here is the rig for the boat transducer. It came with this float. I didn't buy this additionally, it came with it. Uh, it's got tape on it because I ripped it and then I used zip ties to really tighten it down to it. It used to be a lot tighter, now it slides around a bit, but that's not a big deal. And then I got some PVC pipe, not very long, probably, I don't know, eight to 10 inches of PVC. The wire runs through the PVC from here. The wire goes up, uh, it's hard to see, but it goes in right there, right at the bottom. And I put a screw, I drilled a hole through the PVC, put a screw and uh, bolt here, and that's so you can adjust the head. And this is perfect for ice fishing. You just drop it in the hole, and it floats. And it reads very accurately. So here's the unit. I have it on just regular mode. You can see it has the depth up in the top there. It's got the temperature, battery life, time. On the right here we got the depth and a real-time view on the side there. And you can see the jigs moving there. It's very quick. It's not delayed much at all. So it's super accurate, super quick really does the job for how inexpensive it is but let's go into the menu a bit and see what we're working with i haven't done too much in this so i don't know a crazy amount about it but here's the range so you can have it set to auto or you can choose the depth yourself so i know i'm fishing at about i don't know 16 feet maybe 17 feet but we'll set it to auto Auto is good because it'll adjust as you move holes, which is awesome. Here's the gain. You can set it to high, auto high, auto medium, auto low. I like it on auto medium. So that's where it's going to stay. 
and then here we got frequency so these are the different frequencies which is basically just how how much it's gonna read so basically the 77 kilohertz is gonna read not quite as detailed as the 200 and I think the chirp is just it uses sound so I don't fully know about what the difference between chirp and regular is but that's what I assume and then zoom you can zoom in on a certain area of the finder like if you want to zoom in let's say to the six and seven foot area of the graph you can do that like if you have a suspended pipe coming in at six feet and you want to zoom in up there and reel up to it and work it good you can do that and here we will find different color schemes there's blue yellow classic blue classic white maroon red green orange red green so lots to choose from gray like all sorts of colors uh we got noise so that i assume is just gonna choose how much noise is on your graph uh what else do we got you can select your transducer type here so these are all the different types of transducers that can go with it there's a fair bit. There must be a, a way to do software updates on this thing. So here we can do, a, you got traditional, which is what I like using, which was what you just saw, but you also got flasher. So you got just traditional looking flasher, which is pretty neat. I don't mind that. Split frequency. What is that about? You got two separate graphs. I'm not sure what you would use this for and what benefit like what the benefit of this is but it's kind of cool maybe maybe this is your 200 kilohertz and this is your 77 because this one the one on the left looks way more accurate than the one on the right maybe that's what the difference is again don't know why you would do that but waypoint map so you can mark waypoints which is kind of cool actually i'm gonna mark one right here this is this is a waypoint I want right here. So that's pretty cool. Waypoint map and traditional so you can see your map your waypoints and your graph at the same time. If you're running and gun and hole hop and trying to find a certain hole, you got it there. User data all that fun stuff customize home so there's really a lot you can do with this thing but that's just a rundown of the menu and as you can see there's a lot of different settings you can do and for the price of this fish finder it does a lot he's coming back he's coming back got him big fish big fish fish On. Another fish instantly. Second walleye. Awesome. I did not expect to be smashing walleye like this one, but like... I got a fish. I got a fish. Yeah. It's so big. It's one it's my one of my biggest here. Look at oh my god! god. Oh, oh. That's my PB. That's my PB there. Holy crap, Ryan. The tree. <laughs> the tree. So that's my thoughts on the fish finder. I don't know a crazy amount about this thing, but I'm totally happy with it. I have no problems with it. It's a great run and gun fish finder and for the price it's hard to beat it like it's probably the best fish finder for its price i hope this video will help you make a choice if you're thinking of buying this fish finder and hopefully i gave you some good information about it if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button if you got any questions or concerns leave a comment below because we love hearing from you guys if you subscribe to the channel make sure to subscribe because we're dropping videos every sunday thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next one